It's possible to customize Workflow's ribbon using Customize the Ribbon so that it contains the commands that you use most frequently. Before we do that, for the benefit of our users migrating from Classic EdgeCam, we want to demonstrate that Workflow's default interface includes a bare minimum of commands on the setup features and machining tabs, but the advanced command set adds the software commands you may be more familiar with. Ones for manual tool path creation, such as turning and milling operations, selecting tools from the tool store, moving the tools, the machine, or accessing miscellaneous functions, as well as the milling and turning cycles available based on the active tool and the post-processor capabilities. The advanced command set on the features tab provides access to the commands for interactive feature recognition, both for lathe and mill. The setup ribbon's advanced commands provide access to commands for geometry construction and editing, as well as CPLs. So as we approach customizing the ribbon, we often want to approach customizing the commands there. As I right-click and customize the ribbon, it's important to understand the concept of tabs and panels. For example, we have the setup features and machining tab, and within each tab there are panels. We have automatic manufacturing, turning operations, milling operations, and other machining cycles, which are represented in the panels here. I'm going to take the machining tab and I'm going to add my own panel that has a couple of common commands that I use. We'll name the panel additional and then I'll choose the commands that I want to use from commands that aren't already in the ribbon by default. So I can go into here and I can choose commands such as the copy command. And the edit command. And add those to the interface and I now have access to those common commands that I wish to use. I can also edit the appearance of those from a right click. I also want to point out that in customizing the ribbon, it's also possible to add on your own tabs. So I'm going to add a tab for my probing commands. Within that tab, we'll make a panel for the probe commands. And then as I go down through the alphabetic list, and I find the probe commands, Let's go add those commands into the new tab that we're creating. So I can go to probing and I now can access the probe commands anytime I wish. 